Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'll be doing a review on the Thomasville Racers, which as you can see, just pretty much the Piston Cup Racers painted as older cars. Uh, for example, here, Cal Weathers is painted like a car that used to race back in Doc Hudson's days. So you can see Thomasville Racing Legend shows pretty much, I think it's Junior Moon. Looks like it's um, Junior Moon. I think that's who they were going with. And uh, Light McQueen, so you can see it's kind of like Queen or and his friends apparently dressed up as um, Thomasville Legends. There's no like little like description of it, which is kind of unfortunate. Like there's for the XRS uh, racing series, um, the ones on Amazon. I wish there was, but here you can see it's Ponchy Wipeout dressed up as Rusty Dipstick, not dressed up but painted as. Here's Jackson Storm. Apparently still dressed up as Jackson Storm. Uh, some they changed the name, some they didn't. McQueen. Uh, metallic, fabulous Lane McQueen. Here is Reb Meeker, who's still Reb Meeker. So it looks like I think they only changed the name on Ponchi, which is kind of interesting. And here's Herb Kerbler. Now, I don't have the actual Herb Kerbler unboxed. I have it in the package. So I'll be comparing these cards, but I won't be comparing Herb because just because I don't have the original Herb out of this box yet. But um, yeah, all the packages are pretty much the same. Wish they would have changed it like they did for the XRS series, but whatever. Um, we have uh, we have three cards on the back, and uh, Smokey, Hoover Scott, Junior Moon, Louise, Barnstormer, Nash. And so yeah, let's get these cars out of the box. Let's start with Fabulous Light and Queen. And I do hope they do quite a bit more of them because I think these are really cool. I think they're planning Parker or Brixton. Very nice. Fabulous Light and Queen metallic finish. Very nice. I think he, if he were to, if he was picking a racer to race at, he'd probably pick Doc. And that's what it looks like he has picked. Cal Weathers. Pretty bland, bland, but... Then again, back in the day, they did run pretty, pretty bland. Um, very nice. Did you like the blue color on him? Sludge. Sludge might be... Oh, look, there's motor oil, which looks like a Rusty's logo. Sludge may have been what evolved into Sludgy, which is... Uh, one of the sponsors on Chick Hicks that was in and an actual sponsor. Here's a punchy wipeout, aka Rusty Dipstick. That's always nice to see when you know you know who the racers are representing. Here's Ponchy Wipeout. Very nice as well. I like the red on him. It's kinda weird because usually when you look at a car, numbers face down. When you're looking at it from this way. Although this number is facing left, but or right technically but because like right here if if this was an actual like race car this would say 06 that would be his number they should be like this when you put the car on its side the number should be visible for you to read like that 90 here's Ponchi. so they kept their same number um so okay here's herb kerbler one of the next gen kind of an interesting decision that they went with Herb. Herb is one of the uh, next gens and not like Danny Suarez or something, but whatever. It's nice to get more of an obscure character. Myr Myrtle Beach. Southern Gold. I like the design on Herb there. And it's also weird that they didn't go with someone like Bobby Swift or Brooke Yardley. Instead, or not instead, but as well, or instead maybe of Poncho Reb, but it's okay. Nice to get it. Like I said, more obscure characters. Of course, they had to include the main character, Jackson Storm. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't put in Cruz, but he's a matte finish, actually, so that's very cool. Sputter Stop. Very cool car. Jackson Storm, I think, may be one of my favorites. Just because the red works well with the black, and the black is matte, which... There's an added bonus. And here's the last one, Reb. The, probably the most rare, because he's only one per case. I think where the other ones are two per case, so. Um, Reb is definitely pretty popular. There he is. 
And he doesn't have printing. Not sure if that's an error on my... Okay, no, they don't all don't have printing. That's something I actually didn't pay attention to, but... And he's sponsored by Gasper. So, yeah, there they are, out of the box. I'll uh, clean up this mess of cars that are just laying all in front of me here. And uh, get to the review. Let's start with probably the most common, probably the most boring, well, although then, again, metallic cars are always nice to get, but start with Fabulous Lightning McQueen Metallic, Fabulous Lightning McQueen. It's always nice, like I said, to get a metallic car, Fabulous Lightning McQueen especially, just the blue looks amazing. Metallic eyes, I think blue is probably the best color in metallic eyes, maybe yellow, because then it becomes like a gold color, but blue's up there, you can see Rusty's, so even though he's, uh, flashbacking to be good name for the series and be like a flashback series but as he's flashbacking to Doc Hudson he's still sponsored by Rusty's you can see he still has his lightning bolt fabulous lightning McQueen with the metallic lives red tires which always nice as well 95 for Doc Hudson Rusty's the Hornet 95 Rusty's and he has a bunch of 95s up there and fabulous lightning McQueen on 95 on this side lightning McQueen up on the name banner And if we give him a 360 here, there's McQueen, very nice, probably not my favorite just because it's McQueen, but the blue is very nice, the metallic light blue is amazing. Let's get Herb, Herb Kerbler up here because he's one I don't have a comparison to, um, but he's very nice as well, so, because make way, um, don't know what the make way stands for, but Maybe because he's racing, so he wants people to like, make way for him to go to first. We have a uh, start on the side here. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is an actual place you can visit. Uh, light your tires. 54 gasoline Southern Gold High Test. Not sure what that is. Uh, Southern Gold High Test Gasoline. Not sure what the high test is. Southern Gold is probably a gasoline company. High Test, not sure what that is supposed to mean. Also, the spoiler is plastic. 54. 54. It says Herb Kerbler. Mine looks like a bit of an error on this side. Yep, there we go. Herb Kerbler. Nice gray rims. And uh, the red and the gold work well together, in the, my opinion. Um, but yeah, Herb looks very, very nice. So he still kind of has his rookie stripes. Kind of doesn't make sense in this case because I doubt the car he's flash backing to was a rookie. Um, so it kind of makes sense for him to have his rookie stripes removed. Let's see, does Jackson have them? No, see, Jackson doesn't have them, so it's kind of weird that Herb has them still, but whatever, maybe he didn't want to get them removed or something. I don't know, but. Also, I do like the 54 there. Very nice. Herb's a nice one. Probably not my favorite one. Let's go to another one that's not up there for my favorites. Reb Meeker. Um, the white, I think, too much white on him is not good. And the red and the yellow make him look like a fire. Like, you look at this, it looks like an old fire truck or something. But he's sponsored by Gasprin. And it's available at Stiffer's Drugs. Alrighty then, motor oil. Revolting, so that's nice to have revolting there. Gasprin, safe for hood aches. Does not depress the engine. Not depress mean, like, it doesn't make you sad. It's kind of weird, but space for rent. Oh, that's that's nice. That that's cool. Um, that means like I'm assuming what that means. Okay, that could mean two things. One, that could mean that this part right here, they want to have um a sponsor there, so they want to like like say like hey, this space is available for you to like put your company's logo out here, or it could just mean that this is a company that rents out space, but. I think my first thought was that this is a space that they say, like, you can put your logo on here. But, I don't know. It's a very nice ad, though. Safe for hood aches, does not depress the engine. Available at Stiffer's Drugs. Gasprin 36. Reb Meeker. 36 with the yellow and red. This side the same. Although, now that I look at him more, I do like him. Just, I don't think too, I think too much white is kind of a bad thing, but... 
those added additions, like the space for Ran and available at Stifer's Drugs, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's always nice to get these old racers. That's why I'm really excited for some of the older racers that are going to come out, like Leroy Hemming and Jet Robinson, because I think those are going to be cool to look at. To look how, in the Pixar world, old race cars look. Because now, um, we just have all these sponsors, and it doesn't say, like, Tank Code is available anywhere. Just all this thing. So... I think I think looking at old cars like this is really cool, especially when they're on new cars, kind of like a flashback. But here he is compared to the original one. Um, you can see the font has changed on the numbers. Well, this one's more curvy. This one's more of the like regular font, I guess. See, he's sponsored by Tanko here and by Gasper in there. Very nice. To, well, not very nice, but it's kind of interesting because, like, here, Ponchi is sponsored by Froster's Air Filters. Cal is sponsored by Sludge Faux, or Herb. Not Faux. He's not, he's not sponsored by Faux Wheel Drive. He's sponsored by Southern Gold High Test Gasoline. And Jackson here is sponsored by... Actually, he's sponsored by Butterstock. So, Jackson and Reb are the only, ones to, or the only two who are... Sponsored by a company that's still in um, the Piston Cup. So it's kind of interesting to see how some companies have stayed around for so long. Others like Sludge and Frosters have went out of business. Or just stopped sponsoring. Probably went out of business though. But yeah, there's Reb compared to Reb Nico. He has grown on me now that I looked at him close up. But still not my favorite. Um, Cal Weather is probably my third favorite. I'd say Jackson's probably my favorite. But let's take a look at Cal here. Of course, he has no sponsor on the hood. Um, yeah, kind of. I and mean, they kind of didn't have a sponsor on the hood, I guess, back in the days. But then they could have put something like this, which is two words. Like, name of the sponsor. Number 42. He's the uh, Plaza Supermarket at Bristol, Tennessee. Bristol, Tennessee is actually where there's a real uh, NASCAR racetrack, the Bristol Motor Speedway. And I think... Um, motor, the Motor Speedway of the South was based on Bristol. Revolting Southern Gasoline Gold. So that's cool to see. That's like a contingency sponsor. Southern Gasoline Gold is what sponsored Herb here. 42. Drink Sludge Cola. It'll give you a jump start. So Sludge is maybe a bit of a sputter stop because, like, sputter stop is engine. Like relief, not engine relief, but I think it's a. I think the song is give. You, uh, yeah, I think sludge is kind of like sputter stop. But um, yeah, there's sludge cola, motor oil. Kind of looks like the Rusty logo. Drink sludge cola. It'll give you a jump start. Forty two Cal Weathers. Same thing on the side. So he's pretty cool. Do you like the sludge cola advertisement? Like the Bristol Tennessee there. Let's give him a 360. Here's the original Cal Weathers. Also, I think the expressions are different. Yep. I didn't check that on Reb Mika, but oh, they look pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I know this is not like the corrected Cal Weathers. The corrected one is like more teal. Dark blue, darker blue here, but I have the corrected in the Bruce Miller 10 pack. Um, I think that don't know where that scratch came from, but I don't actually come like that from the 10 pack or 11 pack or whatever I got this, but I do have that one. It's just in the Bruce Miller 10 pack that I've yet to unbox. But here's Cal. Let's compare him alongside the original Cal, Danico Cal. I think if the blue was a little darker, um, I'd like the Cal Weathers a little more. But so I do really like him. Definitely in the top three. Ponchi probably taking second place. Here, let's take a look at him now. Um, yeah, I do like the orange on him. No sponsor on the hood. No, nothing pretty much on the front. Just look at him this way. He looks just like a plain old car. Go to the side. It says Grand Ole Oil Co. Um... The Southern Gasoline Gold in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, number 90, Oil Randall Company. Froster Air Filters, number one in quality, revolting. 
number 90 with the cam. It's kind of weird. I don't think any of the other ones had cameras. Oh, Cal did. It's just, it just was much, much smaller. I don't think Rebbed or okay. They both had cameras. They were just much smaller. Um, and number 90, number 90. And he is apparently representing Rusty Dipstick in the competition. Now, uh, Frost, I guess he, he doesn't have one main sponsor. I guess he has two sponsors, one which would be Grand Ole Oil Company, and the other one is Froster Air Filters, both which didn't stick around to make it to the Piston Cup that we know as now. And I guess you would say he's more of an under-sponsored car because here he doesn't have anything. He just has number 90 on both the deck lid and the back bumper here. Doesn't have much sponsors. It's kind of interesting that they put a name of Rusty Dipstick up here instead of Ponchy Wipeout. And then they just put Cal Weathers up here instead of, like, whatever racer he's supposed to be representing. And I think his expression has definitely changed here. As we compare to the actual Ponchy Wipeout, and he's much more relaxed and calm here. here he's very determined. He is compared to the regular Ponchy White Belt. So he's probably second favorite, but I'd say my favorite out of the Thomasville racers that have been released so far is the Jackson Storm. Uh, I just really like the matte black here. He's, of course, sponsored by Sputter Stop. So let's take a look. Sputter Stop, uh, Cold Engine Relief, Cap Melt Oil. Uh, Gastonia, North Carolina, revolting. Genuine Never Tire, the liquid line in a can. Sputter Stop, Never Tire, the cold engine relief, the liquid line in a can. So I'm not sure if Sputter Stop and Never Tire are two different companies or if they're one company that is 2.0. So what could have happened if Sputter Stop and Never Tire both represent on Jackson Stone? What could have happened is that they were like two different companies working together. Or, and then Sputter Stop just bought Never Tire, or Never Tire just merged into Sputter Stop. Maybe Never Tire and Sputter Stop are just completely two different companies. Uh, maybe I'm overlooking this, but... Again, Jackson Storm doesn't have anything on the hood, which seems to be the case for most of these, but he's pretty filled up along the back here, which uh, Ponchi definitely isn't. Just He's probably the most under-sponsored out of all of them, but... Yeah, Jackson, I do really like the black. The matte black is very nice. He works. It works well with the red and the uh, yellow. So, like I said, I don't know if Sputter Stop and Never Tire are two different companies or what what they are. Maybe Never Tire is a branch of Sputter Stop. Um, but here he is compared to the Jackson Storm. So, even though he's black, he's more, like, he's a, he's still a different color because the other Jackson Storm was gray. I think this one looks way better than the original Jackson Storm. Um... I think Ponchi looks better than the original Ponchi. Um, this cow, I think, looks better than this cow, but he looks worse than the corrected cow. Um, Herb Curbler, I can't say for because I don't have the original unboxed. Herb, Reb, I think it's pretty much a tied. I don't know. I don't really. I've never really liked the Cars Three, uh, or Cars Three Tank Coat Racer. I never really liked Reb uh, much. I liked Eugene Kabreski, but I've never really liked Reb. Um, and then I don't really like uh, Reb Nico here. So they just can't seem to get Reb right. Like, they could have done pretty much so, so many cool things with the white and the red. But maybe add a little blue into there. becomes red, white, and blue. And that would just probably be my favorite card by a long shot. But, uh, no, they said just go with red, white, and yellow. And I don't really like it much. So, yeah. There is Jackson Storm. So let me know, guys, out of these six, what is your favorite and uh, how would you rank them? You don't have to include the Lake McQueen if you don't want to. Um, I will, though, in my ranking as this thing spins around. Just gonna put color. So, first place. Actually, let's go from sixth to first. Sixth, Reb. I don't really like Reb that much. Although, to be honest, yeah, sixth will be McQueen. Because he's McQueen. Fifth will be Reb Meeker. Fourth, fourth, I'd probably, after looking at them, have to go with Cal. I thought he was in my top three, 
after looking at them, he has to be fourth. Third is Herb Kerbler. Second is Ponchi Wipeout. And my favorite is Jackson Storm. So, yeah, that's my top three. Right there. Uh, let me know your rankings. Let me know who's your favorite. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. The next video will probably be on Hit and Run. Maybe on a Precision Series set. I know I said the video after Honk Cho. Cho would be a Honk Cho, Honk Chai, however you want to say. Would be a Precision Series set. Uh, turn out this one will be next. Um, you can vote for which uh, car you want me to set or whatever you want me to review next down in the comments. I will leave the link to a straw poll. Straw poll. Uh, so, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great Thanksgiving. This will probably be uploaded like Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm recording this Monday afternoon. It's like 2.54 uh, where I am. So, hope you have a good Thanksgiving. This will probably be uploaded before Thanksgiving. I'll probably have a video come out like at Thanksgiving, somewhere around there. Because I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off from school. So, I'll be able to do a lot of videos. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good holiday, Thanksgiving. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.